sine of ax plus b is a composite function. It's ax plus b inside the sine function. So to find its derivative, we need to use the chain rule, which I've written here for your reference, f prime of g of x times g prime. f is the outside function, which in this case is the sine function, and g is the inside function, which in this case we see is ax plus b, that's inside the sine function. So we can take the derivative. The derivative of sine of ax plus b is f prime of g of x, so the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function unchanged. The outside function is that sine function, and its derivative is cosine, but make sure to leave the inside function, ax plus b, unchanged. We then just multiply by g prime of x, that's the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of ax plus b is just the derivative of a line, that's the coefficient of x, which is a, so multiply by a. Finally, we would generally prefer to write this with that coefficient of a written first, so a times cosine of ax plus b, that's the derivative. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.